So we're gonna get started with Bowling Mill FM5085 in the vise in a size 14. And a Saluda slotted tungsten bead at 2.8 millimeter. For the thread, we're gonna go with some Vivis Tenot in red. And we're just gonna get this started right behind the bead. If you like buggy hairs ear patterns, go ahead and give this video a like. Let us know in the comments. Do you fish the guide's choice? Do you fish just the normal hairs ear? Or do you only fish something more like a waltz worm? They all work great. Some are uh, less complicated than others to tie. Well, it's just going to be these pheasant tail fibers. So I just strip off maybe half a dozen fibers or so. I like it to be about three quarters to a half a hook shape in length. I don't like them when they're way too long. Get them, yeah, right about there. Wrap board, get those trimmed out. With a rib on this fly, I have just been using some crystal flash. I like the little bit more flash it gives, and with crystal flash, I think it kind of throws its color around pretty good. I think using Bug Dub SLF, so it's hair and SLF, is in the natural hair color. You get a nice tight dubbing noodle. You can get the right profile of the body that you're looking for. But then you can also uh, Pick it out really well with a <clears throat> dubbing brush, which I think is kind of the best of both worlds. A nice slim profile body, but you're able to get it picked out and be a little bit buggy. Thorax and and the soft tackle. It's always easier to add a little bit more to your your fly than to take a bunch off. So now we're gonna get a little bit of a wing case, just some. Pearlescent pencil from Vivas. This is in size large. Okay, now that we got our body in there. We're just going to counter wrap this uh, crystal flash through this. This can help slim things up a little bit. We got it a little too buggy. It also just adds a little bit of flash. Now, this dubbing does have a decent amount of flash in it already. So at this point, you can get your dubbing brush and just kind of give it a nice little, nice little brush out. Definitely something I don't like getting too aggressive with, but it works. Now we're just going to get some Vivas pearlescent tinsel. This is in large. We're going to get through the rest of this fly. Looks like my microphone cut off on me, but let's keep going with that pearlescent tinsel. We're going to make sure that that's nice and center on the top of our hook. This is going to act kind of like a wing case for this fly, even though this fly doesn't necessarily have a formal wing case. 
Now we're gonna get two or three strands of peacock curl and we're gonna form a thorax here. We're gonna get that peacock curl tied in and then we're just gonna wrap it up to right behind the bead. If you're looking for a little extra durability here, go ahead and put a little drop of super glue on those thread wraps and then wrap that peacock curl over that super glue. Now that we're up behind the bead, we can tie off that peacock curl and then we can fold that pearlescent tinsel over and tie that in as well. When we're tying in all these materials, just remember to use minimal thread wraps because we still have a soft tackle we gotta get, get in there. So I'm using this Whiting Farms Herbert Miner Wet Fly Hackle. This is an amazing soft tackle feather. Great barbules, easy to tie with. Get some of these in every color you can. So we're looking for those barbules to be about a hook shank in length, and then we'll go ahead and tie that in. Two wraps of this feather is all you need. We don't want to have too much feather wrapped around in this soft tackle. It can restrict those barbules from moving like we want them to. When tying off this soft tackle, just try to grab all those fibers and move them back and create a nice collar of that red thread. Once you got that nice red thread collar, go ahead and trim out that feather and whip finish this fly. that whip finish complete you have yourself a guide's choice hairs here go ahead and make a row of these in your fly box and go out and catch a ton of fish thanks for watching